Hello guys, with me again. So, I'm here to try to share something that happened to me last week. Now, I felt it was just for me, but the next day when I shared that to my wife, she was so excited about what happened and the eyes were filled with tears. And then she asked me, please try share that to my son. And so I shared to James and James asked me, please share that to you guys. So guys, I hope you guys get blessed and I hope that will encourage you. And I hope that will excite you, excite your spirit to hold on and to keep waiting and expecting a Jesus that is coming soon. So, this happened last week, could be three or half three in the morning. I was doing some of my assignments, some homework assignments, and I had I have my worship, I put my earphone on, I have my worship as I'm doing my assignment. I was just praising God, he's just exalting his name and in the same time I'm just keep doing doing my assignment in the same time as I'm worshiping, praising God at night time. As I was doing that, my earphone was on, the music was playing. In that instant, I heard, I, I hear a blast of a trumpet sound. Now, I try to imitate that sound. It's still not coming out. It sounds like, let me try that. It's like a... just as clear even better sound now was consistently non-stop just blasting now guys I have my earphone on and the music was playing and I'm hearing the same that sound with the music in the same time so as as I as as I'm hearing that sound, my spirit. Now, the excitement I go in that moment, <laughs> I go. My spirit goes so excited. I went ooh, and I knew that sound. That was the exciting part. I knew exactly that sound. No, no one ever told me about it. No, I never heard it, but I knew it. I, I heard sound of trumpets, but that sound, I knew it. I, my spirit knew it. And it that strongly my spirit to go exciting. So in that instant, I removed my earphone just to see what is happening. I removed my earphone I can still hear. I decided to stand up to go check where the sound was coming from. It was in the direction of the kitchen. As you guys remember that kitchen of my last dream. I stood up on my chair. As I'm walking to the kitchen, the sound completely stopped. So I decided to go check the fridge, check the the, the boiler, just in case I'm hearing things, just in case could be one, could be the fridge, or could be something else, and I managed to go around and check, and the sound of the fridge was normal, the heater was normal, it was not the same sound I heard of that blast I was hearing. So, in that instance, I said, 
Oh goodness. That sound is the sound of the rapture. Why I'm still here? <laughs> I said, uh-uh, I better go check my wife just in case she's gone. She wants to go raptures or something. So as I'm decide to try to hear, because I've decided to hear to see if she's still there. As I'm walking near to the stairs, I can hear my wife sleeping, something like snoring, like and she's gonna kill me with me saying that. But I can hear her sleeping upstairs, and I said, ah, no. It's not a rapture. Then I came back and I sit down on the chair. Then I say to myself, wow, what was that? And I completely forgot about it. So the next morning, my wife, we were talking in the morning as we share in the morning, just as we share, our, we do our Bible study in the morning. And she told me, she said, oh my gosh, look what happened this morning before you wake up and I was here and a preacher was talking about the trumpet sound and and he was telling and he, and he was saying the thing I heard I was I was intrigued about is when he said when that sound will blast every believer will know that sound and that what happened to me like saying click straight away and I told her, I said, oh my gosh, you won't believe what happened to me last night. As I say, as I'm started, I'm as, as I'm start explaining exactly what happened to me last night, I, f I, I saw my wife overwhelmed with such a joy and with tears full on her eyes. And I knew, really, God will start to tell me something. What is the message in this? It's not about the sound. It's not about the, not the, it's about the sound. It's not about the spiritual thing about it. It's just, it's about more. We knowing when that sound will blast. Every believer, every Christian who are expecting Christ to come in any time, in any moment, any second, they will know the sound. Your spirit will jump with such joy like what happened to me and like when I explained to my half-wife and what happened to her. Every believer will know exactly the sound when they blast. I was trying to explain, even when I was playing that to who, do you guys remember, I don't know, anyone who were in the primary school, there was a bell sound that everyone knew about. And that bell sound was about the bell sound for your break. Everyone waits for that sound. Everyone expected that sound. Because you know, when that sound, when that bell rings, you will absolutely, you know, you will go play, and then you will have your lunch. Now, believers, everyone who is expecting our Lord to come very soon, everyone who has been waiting for our Lord Jesus, <coughs> excuse me, everyone who has been eager, who can't wait to get out of this world as we're living in this moment, they are expecting that sound. They, are, they will know, sorry, they will know that sound. The, the way you are expecting is the same kind of way the sound when you were in the school, when you knew you're going to have your break or you will hold outside to play. That expectation. Every time you heard it, you said, yes, break. When that sound will ring, we're going to be on our break. We will be on our break of the suffering we have been going through to this part, to this earth. We're going to have a break of the sick problems and sickness of all those things that's been bombarding upon us. 
Guys, you will know that sound. When that sound blasts, I promise you, you will know it. How? I do not know. One thing it is this for fact, you gonna know that blast. When the sound will blast, people, every believer, the spirit will be filled with joy. Such excitement because you know in that second, you will be transformed, my friends. Transform. And we're out of here. We are going on our break. We are going to play, people. We'll be out of this. So I hope this message blesses you. Pour some excitement into your spirit. Bring some joy on you. Helps you to hold on and hanging on for what is coming. The great day of our Lord is coming. It's coming to take us home, people. Please be excited. Be excited. And that is my message I got for you guys. Is what I got for me. I am sharing that to you. If that will excite you, please do. If that bring more strength on your walk with the Lord, please do. And if you don't know Christ, please. Jesus came and died on a cross for our sins. He died for you and for me. He came to give you life in abundantly. And that same Jesus who died on the cross, was raised from the dead in three days. This is real. Real, my friends. Jesus Christ is real. So please, accept this gift of salvation. It's free. Be blessed. And I see you when I see you.